Disclaimer, the following stories actually have happened to me and can be scary. I may be possible and experience these, or maybe it actually happened. This video is only for entertainment and for people who find joy in horror and or being scared. If you cannot handle horror, I would suggest you stop watching even though the stories aren't necessarily that scary. Have you guys ever had a scary, frightening, scarring, terrifying, petrifying, mind-chilling, horrifying, or creepy experience before? If your answer is no, we ain't in the same boat, bro. What a boy's talk with here, and welcome to the 2021 Halloween special. <laughs> I've had spooky stuff happen to me before. Today, I got four stories to share with y'all. Before I start, do you guys know what, I, what jinns are? The Google definition for a jinn is jinn are supernatural creatures in early pre-Islamic Arabian and later Islamic mythology and theology. Dang. Jinns are what I experienced or what I think I experienced. These stories took place a few months ago, maybe five to six months ago, when my sleep schedule was really messed up. Knowing that is very important because I'm not sure if I was hallucinating all of this or if this actually happened. The first story happened at 3 a.m. My school hadn't started yet, so I was just chilling, staying up late each night and sleeping throughout the day. I was hungry, so I decided to go to the kitchen and make myself some instant noodles. While I was cooking the noodles, I heard my keyboard and mouse clicking. How weird to hear that at 3 a.m. I thought maybe my brother had woken up, so I went to go check my PC, but no one was there. My entire family was asleep. I was alone in the kitchen at 3 a.m cooking noodles. I thought it was just my imagination, so I went back to the kitchen to finish cooking my food. But then I started hearing the noises again. My homie was sweating better with the freaking monitor off. I then took that as a sign to just quickly finish making my food and go to my room for the rest of the night. Keep in mind that each story progressively gets spookier and spookier. One thing I've noticed with these incidents is that the kitchen seems to be the chill spot for these lads. The second story happened at 7 a.m. I had just woken up, I went to the bathroom, and when I was done, I left the bathroom and I heard a utensil fall in the kitchen. Keep in mind that it was 7am and no one else besides me was awake. Me being me, I went to the kitchen to see what happened and I saw, and I saw, a spoon on the floor. Did it casually just fall and there is no abnormal activity behind it? Probably, well, I, I hope so. But that's the second thing I'd noticed. The next two stories are what convinced me that I may be screwed like completely screwed the next two stories is where stuff really got mentally exhausting this time i actually saw something yes i looked a jinn in the eye or what i believed was a jinn i'm not sure again whatever i'm telling you is just what i think happened because it's all just like i don't know what actually happened it was let me just explain it was 4 a.m i had just finished recording a video i think it was the which, which video was it i think it was the random sensitivity video or it was a very like bizarre video i was done i was tired of making that video i just finished and i was just moving my files around i had gotten up from my seat and i was just wrapping stuff up and then i turned to my right and i saw a dark shadow figure in the doorway looking into my eyes right into my eyes it was a tall and skinny shadow figure it looked about six foot six two somewhere in that ballpark and it had no hair like no facial hair, no hair on his head. It just looked like a very skinny shadow figure in the darkness. It looked somewhat like a slender man, you could say. I was extremely scared and I had no idea what had happened. Time had frozen and I was just in shock. I knew I had to leave the living room and I ran to my room and just prayed to God that it didn't walk into my room. Now, could it be something else? Could it be like a shadow of something else? I don't think so because the kitchen was completely dark it was 4 a.m., no light in the house, just the light in the living room. The kitchen was completely gone, and there was just a figure standing there. Like, you, you could see its, well, figure, you, you could see its body, which just looked like a tall, skinny figure looking at me. And I saw it, like, move a little bit, so that's what was, that's what, you know, really pushed me off the edge. So you're thinking that it's a gin. So I just ran into my room. I was in bed, wrapped in a blanket, and I was shivering. Like, no cap, I was that scared. Because, like, it can be scary, they can kill you, they can possess you, they can do crazy shit. It was, it was summer, and I was in bed, wrapped in a blanket, shivering. One of the scariest things that has happened to me. The next morning, still in shock, I told my family, but, but they didn't really believe me. They said the chances of me having an interaction with the jinn were so damn low. They suggested that I was hallucinating, that's where the hallucination part comes in. That's why I think maybe I actually was hallucinating, who, who knows. Since it was that early in the morning and I hadn't had slept for a long time. I was pulling an all-nighter and then I slept at like 4.30 or something. 
Well, the all-nighter was from last night. Yeah, I, I was getting no sleep. But I just didn't know what to believe. The same afternoon, like when I woke up and like told my family the next day, the same afternoon, I heard footsteps coming from the corridor. But when I looked there, there was no one there. So again, I was just like very, very confused as to what was happening and why it was happening to me. Homie was playing mind games with me. I didn't know what it wanted from me. Maybe it wanted nothing. Maybe it just wanted to bug me. Maybe I was going crazy. But I was so scared and confused at the same time. The last and final story happened before I had seen the shadow figure. It happened maybe two weeks before I saw the figure. This time I know I wasn't crazy because my younger brother was there too. Let me explain. It was 8 a.m. Me and my brother were chilling on our PCs in the living room. I have my setup in the living room. When we heard a voice from right behind me, like something was standing right behind me when I heard this. It sounded like a girl, a young white girl's voice saying, Hello there. Chills went up my spine as I turned around and saw absolutely nothing. I turned my head back and then I saw my brother's head was also turned to where I heard the voice from. This was no damn coincidence. Something was definitely fishy. I asked him if he also heard something. He said he heard a girl's voice saying hello there. We being haunted, yo. I was scared as hell but I couldn't let my brother see me frightened. I just suggested we chilled in our rooms until the rest of the family were awake because you know, actually, I don't know why I suggested that I was just scared. I wanted my mommy with me. I don't What am I even saying at this point? This was supposed to be scary. Why am I making jokes? So yeah, I just suggested we stayed in our rooms and did nothing. And while I was just, while I was doing nothing in my room, I was trying to think of how this could, of how this could logically happen. Was it the neighbors? I don't think so. The voice was too close to my ears and it was too clear for it to be from another apartment. Was it my imagination? Was I hallucinating again? Keyword, hallucinating. I might be going crazy here, I don't know. I don't think it's possible that two people hallucinated the same thing at the same time as we had just woken up. I could come up with no logical answer so I just assumed, dang bro, paranormal activities. So yeah, those were the four stories, scariest shit that's happened to me. This isn't necessarily a story but during the time when I was seeing all this stuff, also yes, it all happened around the same time, it was all in the same month, so like I, I, had, I got Halloween early. During the month, I would hear someone just calling out my name, like my like legal name. And it would be like in the exact same voice as my dad. The first time I heard it, my dad was not home. And I only heard it when I was passing by the kitchen. So yeah, the kitchen was just messing with me mentally. Maybe because I'm a man, but oh well. That was a joke, I think. It wasn't, it's, it's, it wasn't like the time when you're listening to music and you feel like someone called you. This just, this call just felt different. It felt weird. It felt... Almost like it felt wrong for some reason. But yeah, those were my stories. Again, I don't know if I was hallucinating or this stuff actually happened to me. I hope I was just going crazy and then I'm fine now. Because if, if my house is haunted, well, I better sleep with one eye open. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Oh well. That's about it. I'll see y'all later. Take care, everybody. And make sure no Jin is watching you right now.